The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Little Miracles, Mapping Sarah's Brain and Christopher's Fingers. Thirteen-year-old Sarah has epilepsy, which causes her to have debilitating seizures. Medications aren't working. Her only hope for a normal life is to have the parts of her brain which cause the seizures removed. Sarah will have to undergo major brain surgery. Doctors find a brain abnormality, which could be causing the epilepsy. First, the epilepsy team places a large grid of electrodes on the part of Sarah's brain where they think the seizures are coming from. Now Sarah's brain activity and seizures will be monitored and a map of her brain created. So we're all done and everything went uh, just as planned. We did a large um, exposure on the right side of the of the brain. We took out uh, a window of bone and then we opened the dura and placed this large grid on the surface and that went very fine. So uh, right now she's coming off the table. We'll be going to the intensive care unit and we'll see how she wakes up from the anesthetic. She'll be watched very closely for the first 24 hours. Okay. Okay. And okay. they'll connect her up as soon as she gets over there and start uh, monitoring her brain activity and hopefully she'll start to have seizures in the next uh, day or so. Okay, Sarah. The operation's all over. Sarah, can you squeeze my hand? Squeeze my hand for me. Great. Can you open your eyes for me? Good. Keep them open. Do your best. Oh, I know, honey. We'll get you something to get your headache better, okay? Baby Christopher was born with a congenital hand deformity. His parents decide to have his two deformed fingers removed. His mother, Catherine, is a nurse at the hospital on the same ward where Christopher will be admitted. Little hand that we're gonna get, uh, get fixed. That's the reason why we're here today. Okay. You head on over? Off to get x-rays. We're just gonna put this over top of his fingers. Okay. Keep them from moving. Let's see that go on my finger. Yeah. There we go, sweetheart. Let's just get this in there. Okay. Just like that? Yeah. Hello. 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 That's a very light, isn't it? There we go. Oh, good boy. Yeah. That was easy. He's a good guy. He just laid his hand there and there was no trouble at all. Yeah, no problems. Just another picture. So my mommy takes pictures. famous world. <laughs> <laughs> It's very exciting, isn't it? This place is fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you remember this button from before. So every time Sarah has a seizure, just want you to press it. And they will also record everything. I'm just gonna... Yeah, <laughs> what are these lines? These are her EEG. The same as this, same as we record everything on video mm -hmm. and record everything on computer. Oh. Now we just have to wait, wait for her to have a seizure. Hi, how are you? 
Oh, you're strong. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> so the fundamental thing that's missing are these two metacarpal bones, the two palm bones on this side of his hand. The two fingers are there for whatever reason, but the bones here have developed. That's actually quite unusual because typically when the bones in the palm don't develop, the fingers are missing as well. The good news is that these three digits seem to work extremely well, yeah. and that's good. I don't think you're going to get anything from these guys, and eventually they're going to come to be a nuisance. Yeah. Do you want to just hang tough for a while, or do you want to have them removed? No, I'll or just what do you think? no I'd like yeah. you to remove them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. That would be it. Because I'm afraid they're going to get stuck and mm -hmm. caught in something and pulled off. Mm -hmm. You know. Sarah. Tired? Okay, Irene's going to be here in a minute, all right? She's going to help us with this. When was her last seizure? Last seizure was 9 o'clock. Sarah, when you begin testing, first of all, we're probably going to test your hand. And so I'm going to hold, just hold your hand up so that the TV camera can, if you feel anything or you, or you um, feel funny and want us to stop, you just tell us, okay? And that swelling's going to start going down later today. So Irene, we're just going to uh, do some initial stimulations to define which electrode to use as the uh, weapon. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Roy? Yeah. Okay, stem on. Can I have some water? You want some water? She, sorry, she wanted some water. Okay. So uh, we're looking so for the uh, left hand. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna hold on to your left hand and just put it up in front of the camera in case we see any jerking. Okay. Okay, stem on. Yeah. Off. Go back to three milliamps. That was just you stimulated something that moved the muscle in your hand. Pardon? Like the same place. So we may cause your hand to jump again, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Stim on. Mm -hmm. Off. Okay, back up to four. Okay, start paying attention to the face as well, Ernie. Okay. So Jeff, all our rooms are single rooms. We have a coach where parents can stay. With day surgery, usually the kids likes for him, he would only come up on the stretcher and not even actually go in a physical bed. We get them for about an hour after surgery, yeah, and then they it. usually go home. Like I send kids to surgery every single day, and the uh, it isn't the, it can't be the same because now since I've had a baby, now I see these parents and they're teary, and I like I do feel for them, and I know how you felt, you know, when I you would get upset about a kid, and I'd be thinking, you know, I didn't have children at the time, and what a big difference. I actually thought it might be interesting. I don't know whether you can actually view into the surgery from windows. She, they won't let you. Not with family members. Oh, if they won't. <laughs> and you think you're going to be able to sit there and watch as they yeah. excise those digits? I don't think so. Carrying okay, uh, hand and face. Okay. It's quite uncomfortable. I, I'm not sure how much longer we'll be able to. We have a lot to do. Sarah, do you think you can carry on for maybe another half hour? She just... So what can I do about If we could give her some pain medication, I think that would help. If we could... Uh, Shahid, it's been four hours, four and a half hours. Can we give her uh, Tylenol-3 a little early? So we have to do a lot of language testing. Okay. Sarah, we're going to ask you to do some rhyme some naming things right now like Dr. Kerr told you. She's going to come and see you, okay? I'm going to take this cloth away just for a few minutes. I'm going to get you to do counting and say the alphabet. 
I yeah. need you to try your best for this and it's not okay. going to last for very long. You know, it's a long day and you're not feeling very well. Okay? Ready? Here we go. What's that? Dalmatian spoon. On. Circle. Sun. Eggs. Okay. Good. Can you take a break? 77. This is the way her typical seizure starts out with a long um, electrographic seizure coming out of this region. Uh, we need to wait until this goes away. Okay, so we're going to take a rest. What they're seeing there, they're stopping because there's so much electrical activity yeah, that they're suspicious that there's a seizure going on, even though she's not complaining about the. Uh, I like to. Sarah? Yeah. Can you hear us? Let's see if she can You want to keep talking to me? How are you feeling? Tell me how you're feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sarah? Can you, can you hear me? What's my name? Yeah. Irene, she said. Sweetheart, you just had quite a, quite a hefty seizure there, okay? But it's all gone now. She'll, she'll be sleepy from having the seizure, and we gave her medicine to, to stop it, so... Sarah, I think we're just going to do a tiny bit more testing to get this all finished, and then everything will be done so we can get this thing off your head. Do you understand what I'm saying, Sarah? Sarah? Yeah. You understand. Okay, you're feeling kind of dozy? Sarah, are you with me? Are you awake? Yeah. You're not awake? <laughs> Uh oh, can we wake you up? <laughs> last one. Okay, last time. We're gonna count. Ready? Okay. Good for you, Zero. Disconnect. Mm -hmm. We can disconnect. Yeah. You did great, Sarah. So we got all the information we needed from this, um, okay? So um, we'll analyze all these data and we'll sit down with you all tomorrow afternoon, probably sometime after four, and discuss um, what our recommendations are gonna be. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put her back on all our medicines, we're gonna treat seizures vigorously, and uh, we're gonna disconnect her. So what we're doing is removing these two little fingers that don't work. Yeah, we're ready. Good. I think they're almost ready. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, cutie. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Here's him. Okay. Here's your bear. And Dad, could you just get that door yep. for me? That would be great. Oh, okay. See you soon. Okay, we'll take care of him. Thanks. Okay. So, what you see here is the results of uh, Dr. Atsubo's analysis of about 20 seizures and the uh, mapping that I did on Wednesday morning. So, basically, this is the part of the brain that controls motor movement. This is the part of the brain that controls sensation. This is the part of the brain I told you when she had the grid in it didn't look normal, but there's nothing coming from there. And this is where the seizures are coming from. So what we propose to do is take the temporal lobe and most of the occipital lobe. Yeah, she already has um, damage to that area based on her neuropsychological assessment. So um, I don't think we'll make matters uh, a lot worse for her. But the one thing that you must know if you uh, decide to go ahead with this, uh, with Sarah, is the um, occipital lobe controls um, vision and specifically peripheral vision so that um, taking this part of the occipital lobe will leave her with inability to see things off to the left side. Not centrally, but off to the left side so that um, visual fields or peripheral vision will be impaired. 
permanently. It won't, it won't come back. But in my opinion, it's a relatively minor issue because um, central vision is still intact to be able to see a classroom board, to be able to um, read a book and, uh, and carry on life as pretty much normal is, is virtually guaranteed. But uh, taking part in very active sports and perhaps even driving a car would be a problem in the future because you need to have peripheral vision to be able to do those things. But everything's finished tomorrow. Uh, the grid comes out tomorrow, the surgery's done tomorrow, and that's the end of it. When you remove this part, what would happen to that space? It'll fill in with fluid. Uh, that's how it cushions itself within the skull. And so it will just make extra fluid to fill in that, the extra space. low fuss. So I know this looks uh, radical, and it is, but you know, this is the um, strategy that offers her the best chance to stop these seizures. The success rate usually in our hands is around 70%. So, I mean, you know, clearly there, there are never any guarantees. Even if the surgery works, they may have post-operative seizures. Give her a chance for a better life, you know, quality life. Oh. And, uh, give it a try. Give her a chance. I think this is the best shot. Because we know the medicines don't work. How's Sarah seeing this? Does she think this is her best chance? Yeah, mm -hmm. she thinks it's the best chance once her seizures go away and she's able to drive a car and yeah, get on with her life. Yeah. Normal. She's talked a lot about driving a car. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's something you should know. I can't guarantee that she yeah. will be eligible for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to talk to Sarah? Yeah, I'd be happy to talk to her. And if I have more questions, we can answer them for you. So she's first case? Yeah, first case, 8 o'clock, start tomorrow. All right. Everything is fine. He's got a little dressing on, like a mitten on his hand. That you can just leave on and keep it clean and dry for five days. And then you can just take it off yourself. Okay. Uh, you'll see the little stitches there. Should be fine, and he should be able to go back to doing whatever he wants. Should be able to go back to normal. Sure. Yeah. That's great. Thanks a bunch. Good. There you go, honey. Okay. Now have a seat right here if you like. Christopher is doing better than expected, so his parents can now take him home. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Tomorrow, we will um, plan to um, remove the part of the brain that's causing your seizures. And our, our strong belief is that by taking away the part of the brain that's causing the seizures, we have a great chance to make you seizure-free. How does that sound? Okay. Thumbs up, son. That's great. The, uh, the one thing, though, when we take away a part of the brain called the occipital part, that will affect your vision off to the side. So it's called peripheral vision. That's likely going to be affected, but there's nothing we can do about that if we want to uh, cure your seizures. And that's, in our view, that's a fairly acceptable and very minor um, problem if you're going to get rid of your seizures. So when I'm 16, I could drive a car? That's a very good question. I can't promise you that you'll be driving a car, but 
we'll wait for the um, surgery to uh, settle down and for um, the eye doctors to, to check your eyes and then we'll be able to tell if you uh, have enough vision to be able to drive a car. You, you will certainly have enough central vision, it's just the question about looking off to the side. Anything else? What did I ask doctor? You just want to get over it, okay? Yeah, it'd be nice to get, yeah. get on with things, get the grid out of there, do the yeah. work, and then stop your seizures for you. Tell uh, Dr. Vatka what's the most important thing you'd like to do when you, you're seizure-free. Get rid of my seizure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be able to Go do on well. with my life. On the next episode of Little Miracles, Cheryl's bone marrow transplant and Sarah's brain surgery continues. <laughs> <laughs>